So this is a female ring seal that was caught just northeast of Point Barrow. It's a juvenile female. I think she's about two to three years old based on um, the annual rings on her claws. Today, um, a couple of the researchers were out there and spotted the animal with binoculars and remotely triggered this net to spring and cover the top of her hole so she can go back down into it and get into the water. Cooper, no. And the design of this net is to, to actually spring over the hole so that the breathing hole's under here when the seal's resting out of the water. And so they triggered the net, so she was stuck there on the ice, and very quickly the two researchers came over, grabbed her, put her in a tote, and brought her back into town so that we can fit her up with a satellite transmitter. On the front, chase it, walk around. There you go. Well, we're restraining her because we want to make the tagging process easy. So you, in order to put this tag on her, we had to punch a couple little holes in her flipper. So it's like equivalent to a person getting a piercing. And what this is, is a satellite transmitter. And so this instrument on programmed days of the year, um, it will send a signal to satellites that are hovering above the Arctic. Throughout the year, we will get lo various locations to look at behavioral pat seasonal behavioral patterns, and also we track where they're breeding at every year. So that's what this little tag does, and we're hoping it will last over a year. <sighs> okay, little one. <laughs> hey! Nope. I'm going to go right back at you. There you go. And I think that the tagging of this seal is going to be pretty significant because in the past, we've only ever tracked adult seals. So it'll be interesting to see if her movement throughout the year is different from adults' movements. Come again.